I need to see if my booty looks okay in these. Will you tell me if they do? I thought I just started recording again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're eight days out from leaving for Hawaii. Oh, buddy. A few things that we're worried about. COVID-19. <sighs> We've been vaccinated, but still. We've been vaccinated. Uh, can we get our test results back within the time to go? In our hands. Yes. Yeah, so we have to take the test within 72 hours, then get the results back, then print them out, and then get on then the flight. Then go to the airport. Yes. So, yeah, in our airport, we have to be there at, like, what, 6-ish? Because our flight's at, like, yeah. 8. Yeah. And then... Like, we have to have to have it in our hands mm -hmm. when we get to Denver. But, like, I guess technically no one's going to stop us before we get to Denver. Yeah. But we really need to have it in hand before we leave the house, which I don't have a printer. Anyway, we're going to, we'll figure it out. Well, yeah. We'll figure it out. And then so that. there's a snowstorm coming in as well. A legit snowstorm. Like. In Memphis, we don't get snow. And also, generally, I'm that person who's just like. It's not gonna snow. It's not gonna snow. It's gonna freaking snow. Yeah. Like, it's gonna snow. <laughs> there's snow projected for tomorrow. And then, what, how many days out from when we leave? Two days out? So, let's put it this way. It is only gonna be above freezing right now for the next 10 days. Mm-hmm. So, if it snows at all, it's gonna stick. And then there's, like, three days in the 10-day window that it's supposed to snow. So, I'm like, cool, 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 cool. We don't care because where are we going? Hawaii. They fucking canceled the flight. So Memphis has three inches of snow on the ground and they canceled the flight three days out from it actually going. I kind of feel like it's them just not wanting to shovel some snow. But our flight's canceled. I'm sure it'll be fine though. So we're gonna have to reschedule our flight uh, but between now and then, we are just going to go enjoy the snow. Yeah. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. We'll worry about it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Snow day! Snow day. Okay, okay. Not as bad as it could have been if I hadn't shelved it already. Winter death. Crazy. You're just gonna put it on the back of your car? Yeah. Let's get the shovel on, I guess. This is 
Mississippi Road. So yeah, that's where we're at. Just Listen, I'm sorry. I was uh, white knuckled to the side of the truck while this giant semi bowled past us. It literally just bawled past us going, what, 65? Maybe. And kept getting squirrelier and squirrelier and squirrelier. I was trying to turn the camera on. It was squirrely as hell. And I was, I'm impressed, really. Impressed, but that was not, he passed four vehicles. Oh yeah, can we talk about all this traffic? I'm sorry, we haven't explained that. Um, so all the traffic on the other side of the road is because there was a, like multiple 18 wheelers that like went off at an exit. I don't really know, but they're like, um, none of those vehicles have been moving. There were people out of the cars. So we are in West Point, Mississippi. And would you look at these roads? We got two lanes of traffic. Two lanes of traffic. Would you look at it? I'm pretty excited about this. Um, we are four and a half hours from NOLA, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we've been very high stressed this whole drive. You got anything to add, Logan? I am tired. This snow and ice has killed me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna take over driving Probably when we get to Meridian. I'd say that's about an hour and a half at the most, maybe less. Give him a break. I just did not want to drive with snow, like still in the middle of the road. Just cause, let's be real. We don't need none of that. Help, she's driving now. <laughs> so you know we've gotten to good roads if I'm driving. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Ain't no snow, ain't nothing. Nothing but a good time. How yeah. do you feel now? Oh my God, I can breathe. <sighs> I can breathe. We were on pins and needles there for a while with all the bad roads and everything. We've been canceled five times, had to go through snow, really bad conditions where we couldn't see the road. I think my blood pressure is up a lot. It's better now. Also, also, it didn't help that when we did stop, the one like, time we stopped, white knuckled, we stopped and opened the door and all of our very important paperwork <laughs> flew out all over the road and got wet. So, so it's in, the, in my lap now. So yeah, that was, that was, you know, just add that to the list. It's been a lot, y'all, but we are going to Hawaii. It's been crazy. Oh yeah. It's going. What time did we leave? We've been on the road for at least- Five hours. Longer than that, we left before noon. Before noon, here we are. There it is right there. So yeah, five hours in, we can now breathe. Keep on trucking. All right, we made it to the New Orleans airport. <laughs> hey, you want me to tell them? Tell them, baby. Hey, guess what? There's no one here to check us in because it's after 10 o'clock and they had no red eyes. So the United booth is closed till, I don't know what time tomorrow. <laughs> so I was able to get our boarding passes off my phone. However, there's no one here to check our bag. So we gotta figure something out. So we can't check in till 3.30. It's it is 10 o'clock at night. We thought we could check in, go get some dinner in the airport, and then take a quick cat nap before we went to the Hawaii. But this means we're gonna be up till 3.30, checking in. And then, oh 
my god, I woke up for 24 hours. Because, spoiler, for some reason I couldn't sleep last night and was up at 3.30 this morning. We made it through the night, sitting outside the airport. Not even really outside. Like, we were inside the airport. This fool slipped on the ground. I couldn't do it, man. I sat in a chair. Like, look at my eyeballs. So I have been up for over 24 hours now. I need all the all the cafe that I can get. I'm ready to get into a real bed. I'm ready to get to Hawaii. I won't believe it until we take off in Houston. Right now everything's greenlit. We're through TSA. We're in the airport sitting at the right gate. We've got our cafe du Mon. We're good. We're golden. So for my eyeballs. My eyeballs are Bloodshot. Tired. Okay. We're gonna make it. We got this guys, Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jennifer, what did we just see? So we were walking and we both, there's a lot of runners here. We just saw this guy and he was running and we both go, that guy looks like he's running from something, not like a runner. I was like, what a weird run. Yeah. And then he literally ducks behind a metal like <laughs> electricity thing. We were and like, he starts peeking around the corner and we're like, like, oh my God, he is running from something. <laughs> and then we were like watching him and then there's this couple that was walking up to it. So then I was worried that they were older couple. robbed. <laughs> right? But they didn't get robbed, but we did stick around just in case. Like we almost missed our light to walk across the street. Yeah, I we was were worried like, about the, the old couple getting, getting robbed. robbed. And we're like, maybe, he, and then then here I am playing devil's advocate. again. I was like, maybe he's peeing behind the thing. And then he peeked and out around he the corner out and, out and came out like he's about to rob him. Walking and looking over his back and I was like, oh my God. And then he just sprints off the other direction. He didn't rob the people. We were I gonna think help. he might have been on crack. <laughs> oh my God. My favorite moment was, that guy looks like he's running from something. <laughs> <laughs> and then he hid. <laughs> he literally hid. We haven't pressed the button. Oh, no, we haven't. We're just sitting here talking. Did we make it to Hawaii? Yes, we did. Was it hell and high water? Oh, my God. Frozen high water, as a matter of fact. Oh. Uh, so, I want y'all to know it's doable. And if you're willing to put in the work, you can get here. Because believe me, we, we put, put in, in the, the work. work. Hey, remember that time we went to the airport early? Just to make sure we didn't miss our flight and the airport had no one there to give us our tickets. <laughs> and then, you know, when people- So we couldn't get to where the restaurants when were. When people started, when people started like talking to us, they were like, like after we got through, you know, we were waiting for, waiting to get checked in. They were like, wait, how long have you been here? We were like, since 10 o'clock last night. This was at like four o'clock in the morning. And then the funniest part was when they looked at us and they were like, wait, so it was just y'all here? And we were like, yup. Us and the cleaning dude. And they were like, it doesn't seem Exactly. So, it's doable. We did it. Yeah. Remember, keep always. Your corn, always keep, keep your, your corn, corn on, on the, the cob. cob. Generally speaking, I'm terrified of snow. So, the fact that I'm even allowing this man to drive me around is pretty it's a big deal. Is your seatbelt on? Yeah. No, it's not, you liar. It's on the seat. 